What's up guys, I'm here with my uh, D21 Nissan Hardbody pickup truck and today I already got that one out but if you look at these, these are uh, the bolts to the valve cover but uh, if you look at these, the valve cover has got these Phillip head screws on top and damn near every single one of these are stripped and this truck is leaking massive oil on the back side. You can see the whole firewall is all wet back there. But I'm leaking a lot of oil back there, so I'll, I don't have the screws to replace them, and I don't want to put more screws in there, but I'm bored, so I figured I was going to weld the extension on here. A rod makes it taller with the little T-top, so I can twist them on and off, just like uh, you see the old Chevy hot rods, or don't have to be Chevy, but all the old hot rod cars, they all got the T-shaped rods, so you can take uh, the valve covers on and off without any tools. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to measure from the top of the bolt to about the top of the valve cover where I want it. That one's like two and a half. This one don't got the bolt, two and a half, roughly. Yeah, so roughly I'm going to need to cut all of them about two and a half, maybe two and a quarter. And what I got here is like an old school crate. Uh, this metal, it's, I can magnetize it, so I'm guessing I can weld it, but I'm going to use this top square all the way around I'm just gonna get my pliers and rip all these wires off but I'm gonna use this to for the two and a half inches up and then I'm also gonna cut a piece of it and make the T's on all of it too but I'm gonna make it out of this it's just garbage laying around my house so pretty much for free first first I'm just gonna break all these little welds it got all around it just like that see how easy it is bend and break it metal clip top ring out. So I got six just out of this, so uh, next I'm going to cut the pieces out of it. Alright, right here I got all eight of the extensions for each of those screws. And right here I got the tops, all eight of the tops. And what I'm going to do is weld them together like, like that. And then uh, this one isn't the screw, but weld them on like that, all like that, so I can uh, get to the valve cover easier and actually tighten the bolts down because they're Phillips screws, and the Phillips screws are all stripped whenever I got it. So, yeah. I got my drill bit in on my cone head drill bit. I'm gonna drill both the top of the Phillips. I've already done one, but I'm gonna drill them both to the same size as these rods until these rods fit. Just like that inside of the head of the screw. Then when I'm done I'm gonna weld it together so all of them will be extended. And then I'll weld the T on. And then I'll probably just paint it for for some looks. But There you go. Ground it with my welder through the vise. That way I don't gotta hold the screws. I got two lined up right here. I got two rods ready to go. So, here's one rod. That should make them straight. You can set you back. Alright, here's the one finished, other than paint, I'll probably paint them black, but there's a screw, the extension, and then the T welded on. Alright, there's one on the truck right now, and then there'd be another one there, but 
Yeah, that's it right now. It's hot, so I'm using my lung. All right, here's the two finished ones. The screw, the extension part, the T. Same on both of them, and then I got six of the T's made. Now I just need to take off the rest of the screws on the valve cover, drill out the tops, and weld them all together, and then I'll throw a thing of paint on them, show you what it looks like when it's done. Probably dark, though, by the time I get to show you, so. All right, what? <clears throat> all these uh, screws got a little washer and uh, bushing in there to press up against the valve cover. Right now I'm removing all Alright, I painted them all. Uh, just that uh, like grayish silver paint, but painted them all so they don't rust. And uh, really, it was just where it was welded that was rust. There's two more over here, but they're all done. I'm letting them dry. I got to uh, take off the valve cover and fix the leak and whatnot. So yeah, there they all are drying. So I'll show you them whenever the valve cover's back on. <clears throat> all right, here they are on the truck. There's one. Um, they don't look like the sportiest or nothing like that, but, uh, there's another one. You can see all of them. Sorry, it's already dark, but, uh, try and get it, get it so you can see all of them at once. I don't think it's going to happen. But, uh, yeah, they're all on. You can see them all the way around the valve cover. Looks good. That one clears underneath the breather. So there's that one back there. Just this one on the very back on the driver's side of the truck hits whenever I turn it. Which, uh, not a big deal. It's still tight. But, uh, now I don't got to worry about stripping out those bolts. Well, they already were stripped, but... Yeah, there they are on there. I did it for, uh, convenience, not looks anyway, so... Well, there you are. Till the next video, uh... Uh, video I'm gonna do with this truck. I know it's dark and you can't see shit, but, uh... I got three-inch lowering blocks. I'm gonna lower the back and, uh, slam the truck. What not. I plan on painting it, so, uh... Please uh, follow, like, subscribe, dislike, whatever. Just uh, go comment, whatever. Uh, I enjoy talking to people on here, on YouTube and whatnot. Uh, let me know what you think I should do. I don't know, something like that. I don't care. <laughs> but uh, all right, till next time, guys.